Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your weekly tarot reading for the week of September. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This is a reading for any sun, moon or rising Sagittarius. We're going to take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness or the big ideas for the week, guidance and possible outcomes. I will also choose a few oracle cards for additional information. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so your awareness for the week, we have the five of wands. So conflict, arguments perhaps, petty arguments, people not working well together, ego getting involved and trying perhaps some um, power plays within this group dynamic. Could be healthy competition, but more often than not, we may say that this relates to uh, people not working in a, in a cohesive fashion. And so how do we address this? We have to think about ways to, um, ways for somehow for this group to be able to work together. We do so with courageous conversations. We do so by restructuring, resetting perhaps. So be on the lookout this week uh, in your interactions with people, the potential for conflict. And again, daily annoyances, these, these are the petty arguments. We can get past them. They're temporary in nature. You're going to deal with it and then move on. And speaking of moving on, Here's the Eight of Cups. So the Eight of Cups, we see this figure with their walking stick walking away from the Eight Cups under the moonlight, you know, to the mountains, taking this trek by themselves. So this is a sense of taking leave of where you are right now, moving on. You may not feel satisfied. You may feel disappointed with what and how your life has been. And you're going to just say, I'm, I'm taking a little break. I'm either taking a break here. I need some time for myself to think things through. I need a little weekend trip for me. Or you are taking off, leaving it all behind, and maybe you're not coming back. So does the conflict contribute to this feeling that you're going to take a break? that you're going to move away. You know, leaving behind eight cups is a real strong message, which is uh, something isn't happening for you to bring you fulfillment or to bring you happiness. And you feel that it's important to get a hold of your possibilities and the potential of your life and to move on. It could be relationship, Location, job, you know, university, something where you feel you have to make a move. So making this move in the conflict, and then we have this sense of, again, defending yourself, protecting yourself, defending yourself against perhaps people who are attacking your ideas, your beliefs, your faith, your actions. He looks quite focused on uh, what's below him and what's coming at him and beating them back. And so stand your ground. Stand for what you're choosing to do. And, you know, sometimes when people make decisions to move on or to take a little time for themselves, a little break, you get some flack back. So deal with that. Protect yourself. Defend yourself. Stand your ground no matter what. And then in terms of guidance, you know, there is maybe a silver lining in all of this, which is the Ace of Cups. The outpouring of emotions, the opportunity to find happiness and joy and delight from the love that you have either for others, 
for things that you do and for your passions or for your family, but there's such a strong component here of emotional expression, um, emotional well-being, of allowing yourself to express love. Aces are gifts or blessings from the universe, and so, you know, here's a chance if you're single to put yourself out there where you can find a meaningful and deep relationship. If you are already married or in a committed relationship, it's a chance to strengthen it, to rekindle, to reaffirm how you feel, to demonstrate how you feel. It could be showing your partner how you feel for them. But a strong sense of happiness and delight and good health and um, uh, good fortune with this Ace of Cups. And I mean good fortune spiritually and emotionally connected to your relationships. So your possible outcomes, again, so I like to say we're trending upwards here, Nine of Cups. So this Eight of Cups, leaving what didn't work for you behind is going to result in you finding happiness and contentedness and fulfillment from your life. And here you're going to recover the Nine of Cups. You're going to recover this sense of abundance the sense of uh, joy and comfort from what you've built or what you've done. This is also a wish card. So make your wish, set your intention, and things are looking good. And particularly if it's with respect to relationships, people, the loves, the things that you love to do. And then finally, a beautiful card, an empowering card to have as a possible outcome which is through all of this of having to defend yourself, of having to make moves, of dealing with disharmony. Here's strength. And this strength card is about um, really the idea of gentleness and compassion and kindness as being true strength. To, uh, to not force yourself but to do so through love and through consideration and through compassion. You have a heart, you have courage, you have um, everything that you need within your heart to be able to be strong enough to do what you need to do to live a happy and delightful and productive life. And so strength is telling you you have what it takes to deal with adversity, to deal with challenges, to deal with naysayers or people who are unpleasant. You can overcome these things. You rely on yourself, you rely on your goodness and your gentleness. So very nice, you know, the things that you have to do and to where it's going to lead you is going to be really nice. So let's see what we have in terms of Focus area or meditation point for the week. View from above. Get the big picture. So, yes, getting the big picture is important, but sometimes when you're on the ground floor and the ground level and you're mixing things up, it may be hard to think of the big picture. Perhaps when you, t when you are able to pull away or to move away, then you see the big picture. Then it's there for you. And now let's choose a card for spirit or emotional self. Light. Imagine yourself as being composed of energy and light because in reality, that's precisely what you are. You are a powerful being and people are attracted to your brilliance. This is a time to remember how vibrant you truly are. And how do we feel vibrant? We feel vibrant when we are able to be connected, when we're able to have and share 
our emotions and our love with other beings and uh, to do the things that we love to do and to have self-love as well. And finally, let's choose a card for love and let's see what the message is for love. Look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. Here's your card, strength. You're getting a double message of inner strength. So whatever path and whatever you're dealing with, you have the strength to handle it and to find happiness and joy on the other end. So this is what I have for you for the week, and I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share, or comment. I'd love to hear from you. I wish you a most wonderful week, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.